Uh, my name is Andrew Cherry, I'm 24 uh, and I climb here in the Peak District. I think that the challenges within climbing have allowed me to view challenges in the rest of life in a very different way. Uh, often in climbing you look at something that seems very intimidating or perhaps even impossible and you break it down into its constituent parts and you work on an individual move or an individual pitch and in a way you can use that as a skill in the rest of your life to not be really intimidated by big career changes or educational goals and to, to look at things as a, a series of small steps as opposed to one, one large intimidating challenge. People often see rock climbing as being this like really brave sport where you're completely careless and reckless and the, the term adrenaline junkie gets thrown around. And it's really the opposite. Half the time when you're climbing you're on a really fine line between being really really scared and being confident enough to make the next move and you spend most of your time worrying about different variables and trying to sort of control your safety and navigate through rather than recklessly throwing yourself at the next hold or, or doing anything dangerous. Maybe before climbing I was a lot more arrogant. I used to think I was right a lot more. I was less willing to accept that I'd done something wrong or wasn't right. I was a lot more materialistic and I thought more about the things that I wanted to own or the amount of money that I wanted to earn. And now I think of life more as a, an opportunity to have experiences. And I value having a bit more freedom and being a bit happier uh, more than, than earning a bit of extra cash. <laughs> Um, in that way, it's given me a much more wholesome life and a much better outlook.